Hello, fifth grade. We're going to get started on our science lesson today, 7.5, The Miracle of Air. So now what I want you to remember is that God put Earth right in the middle of our galaxies. He put everything around us exactly the way we needed to be so that he could sustain life on Earth. Now, the unique thing about that is, is he put this protective wrapper or protective layer around the earth, and that is a mixture of invisible gases, and we call that air, okay? Now, air either expands or contracts depending on if it is cooled or is heated. So if we take a look right here, we have if it expands, it's because the air has been cooled, that means that the molecules are moving around very quickly and they're bouncing and pushing off of each other, okay? But air can also contract, and that is when air is heated, the molecules move slower, and they kind of huddle together, okay? Now, again, what is air? Well, Air molecules are made up of 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen, okay? Now, that is the exact preciseness that we need to be able to breathe. Now, we know that all living things need air, water, and um, sunlight, right? And the reason why they need air is because they need the carbon dioxide that they take in and then they push out to makes oxygen, right? So we know that that all works together with plant life and without plants, we wouldn't sustain either, right? So it is so unique that the God had put in very specific things on our planet, around our planet, so that we can sustain life here on earth. Okay, now, um, in addition, air helps warm the earth, okay? It also um, helps us to hear, so sound waves go through it, okay? It also helps to give us fresh water because we obviously have to have evaporation into air and then we have to have precipitation coming down, right, uh, from uh for us to be able to have water to uh, for our plants, right? Then it also protects the earth, okay? Now there are different layers of the atmosphere and tomorrow's chapter, you're gonna learn about those different layers. But there's one thing you need to know and that is air pressure. Now air pressure is really unique because it is the total weight of air um, on an object basically pressing down on an object. Okay, now, we know that we have gravity here on Earth, right? But let's just, let me just tell you that 75% of the air is packed down on the bottom layer of the Earth, okay? Now, what that means is that gravity is pulling the air down. Now, it presses down the to the surface, but here's what's funny, it doesn't press on our bodies. Now, we're not flat like pancakes, right? But air is really pressing down onto the Earth's surface, but God made our bodies to produce enough pressure to press out of our bodies that the pressure coming down on our bodies from air wouldn't squish us. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so I want you to know that, where was it at? It, the atmosphere is actually pushing down on the Earth's surface, and it weighs five, uh, five, uh, 5,600 trillion pounds, okay? That's being pushed down on us, basically, um, which is pretty unique. And just so you know, at sea level, okay, I forgot to write this down, at sea level, Air pressure is almost 15 pounds per square inch, okay? So like inch, 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 inch. Do you see where I'm going? Like inch, 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 inch all around my body? Okay, so that means that 15 pounds per square inch at sea level is pressing down just on my body. But my body is pressing out enough pressure that it doesn't squish me. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so that was 15. I dropped my pen, sorry. That was... 15 pounds per square inch at 
C level. Pretty cool, right? So God had designed all of this so uniquely, but as we go up in outer space, remember, the air gets thinner up there. And that's why in back in time, when scientists were trying to float up into sky, the sky, they realized they were having such a hard time breathing, and hence that's where airplanes and space shuttles and things like that have come, because they've realized that the air um, is, is uh, thinner as it goes higher in the sky in the different layers of the atmosphere, which we'll learn about tomorrow. And so they had to start building pressurized cabins uh, for airplanes and space shuttles and things like that so that they could uh, take in that air and um, we could breathe because we can't breathe when we are thinner in air. That's why when it says going up the high mountain tops, you start to have a hard time breathing because the air gets thinner the higher in the sky that you go. But the unique thing about air is that one, we breathe it in every day and don't even really realize we're doing it, but it's not only sustaining our life because we have to have air to breathe, but it's sustaining the life of plants and basically our entire planet. So atmosphere protects our earth. Air is what is within our atmosphere, meaning that's basically what we call it. And there are different layers that you'll learn about tomorrow. So go ahead and take down these notes. Press pause and make sure that you do, um, I think you might have a worksheet today, um, but double check your uh, lesson plan and make sure that you're reading this section because there's so much information in it. And hey, maybe try one of those balloon experiments that are in the lesson uh, 7.5 today, okay?